What am I supposed to tell Tommy Longo? Tell him you can't fight the future. Those girls are gone. Tonight, while you're out in the field, all communication is by beeper. The massage business is running real dry for a couple reasons. The biggest one is beepers. Once the girls found out there was this thing that they could have for 10 bucks a month or whatever it was, they could work for themselves. I have a question. What do you do? People were using the massage parlors less because of the AIDS fear. The hotels make it a little bit, on the surface, a little bit safer, cleaner, et cetera. <laughs> you still got our page, I see. Find their keepers. It's kind of an exciting version of industry unto itself. The game's changed. Three girls will pull money and get a furnished apartment over near one of the tunnels. Put an ad in the voice and boom, instant trick pad. We're not getting a piece of any of that stuff? All the array of infrastructure required to get you laid, all the middlemen, all of the places where uh, people could lay in the cut and take some of the money, places for the mob to live, it's all ruined when it's some woman with her own phone number and, and an ad in the back of the village voice. Beepers made them bold. They figured out they don't need pimps or whorehouses. And you know what, Tommy? They're right, it's a free country. It's an economics problem. And there's nothing they can do to stop them. I think the, the biggest challenge that we had in this episode was depicting the end of Lori's story. I left my man. I mean, Kiki split up too, so. The key to Lori's character is a line that you gotta go back to the first season. Me, I need pimping, otherwise I tend to get lazy. She desperately wants someone to come and save her and it just keeps not happening. I don't have a man anymore. I don't have a family. And in that moment, Lori realizes that she doesn't have anything other than her porn star persona. This is all I am. And she doesn't know how to go on. There was a big debate in leading up to this of like, when does she decide to kill herself? And what is the trigger? Hey, baby. And so for me, I feel like Lori's sort of always had that in the back of her mind, at least for a long time. And I think the choices she's made have always had a lack of respect for her life underneath it. What's your real name? Land O'Lakes girl. It's complicated. I mean, Lori comes to her at the end and is in terrible shape, and Candy doesn't say, you know what? Spend the night on my sofa. The last thing you need to be doing right now is fucking on film. We really wanted the audience to have to sort of examine their own role in all of this. I think in that moment of Lori deciding to kill herself, we didn't want to let anybody off the hook, ourselves or the audience.